guys and welcome to the channel, I hope you're having a great day. So I am currently off to a place called Rougely, uh, there's a reservoir there that I didn't know existed and I fancy nipping out today and getting a couple of photos, seeing as the, uh, seeing as the weather was so nice. Although the sun is shining like an absolute mother, it is freezing, it's currently uh, minus one. Uh, so I'm having to be a little bit careful because uh, any water that is on the road is uh, completely frozen. So yeah, I'm having to be a little bit careful today. Um, I know there's a couple of roads down here that are completely flooded, so I'll be avoiding them. On Google Maps, it just looked like a nice place to go and get a couple of photos, seeing as it's supposed to be snowing uh, this weekend coming up. So obviously I'm not going to be going out anywhere on the bike. So I thought I'd make the most of today. Thankfully the sat nav is telling me to turn right and uh, that's good because left is completely flooded and there's no way I'm going through all the... Thank you. There's no way I'm going through all that uh, with the potential of it being all frozen and whatnot. I know I was going to go through it the other day but I saw a car going through it and it was about a foot deep so I thought nah. So as the uh, title of the video suggests I went to messed up and so did GoPro. Uh, so firstly, <laughs> what I did, um, I went and mounted a GoPro uh, sticky mount uh, to the bottom just down here and I also mounted one just at the top here. I found the one at the top was kind of restricting my view um, when it came to the video and reviewing footage etc. So I didn't bother using it, plus the actual mount was all shaky and whatnot. And the same with the one at the bottom. So I took them off. And the one at the bottom, yeah, came off fine. I heated them both up. The one at the top came off just fine. But the one at the top, I uh, had a bit of residue left. So I had a spare loofah. Uh, one of them, like, really soft things that girls wash themselves in the shower with. Um, I had one of them uh, that I was bought for Christmas, like, in a pack of them. So I thought, you know what, I'll just put a little bit of soap on that and clean it off. It's soft. It's not going to do any damage. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but look at that bleeder. It's all scratched all at the top. That pissed me off so much. Just the fact that it was a loofah. They are soft. They're designed to be kind to the skin and whatnot. And so yeah, that did not piss me off. I mean, it shouldn't have scratched that easy. I mean, I was considering not using the screen at some point anyway, but I've just kind of gotten used to it and quite kind of liking the fact that my arms aren't aching, my neck's not aching from the wind, so. Oh, I don't know now. Now the fact that I'm loving using the GoPro on the chin, um, I think the Memphis Shade uh, Batwing fairing may be out of the question because that will just kind of be looking at complete darkness here and then, because obviously you kind of look over it. So yeah, at some point I may get another screen. We will see. We will see. Right, uh, secondly, with GoPro messing up, um, the audio adapter that I've got for the GoPro for some reason I get loads of feedback and static and it's just not working great at all so for the past couple of months I've kind of been in contact with GoPro and they've been suggesting different options and all these things to do uh, before they finally kind of admitted that something's either wrong with the adapter or the GoPro they said they're going to send me an adapter out I missed the post so I rearranged for the following day um, and then when it arrived I opened it up and it wasn't actually the audio adapter they for some reason I got it mixed up uh, one end or the other and sent me a microphone adapter which is um, it's a sticky like, like the sticky mount you get for the GoPro but what it does it screws on to a microphone stand and it also has wait for it a microphone adapter so it screws to a microphone so somewhere the plonkers have kind of got it all all mixed up and sent me that so i've just got to wait for them to send me a new one so great start to the day oh and i haven't got a clue which way i'm going i'm just uh, completely following the sat nav so i don't know if that's going to be coming through the mic or not and also i'm not sure how the audio is going to be because i've moved the microphone slightly uh, just because i decided to put the boom mic back in uh, rather than the little plastic uh, mic that i had oh so the sat nav's taking me to the a38 Although normally I'd like to stick to these roads. Then again, that might be the only way that there is to go. We'll see. I tell you, it really is mad how much difference a windscreen actually makes uh, regarding the cold on your chest and whatnot. Right, so I'm on this road for another seven and a half miles. Uh, I mean, I don't know what this, uh, this place is going to look like. Not properly until I get there. I've only seen what it looks like on, uh, on Google Maps. So, 
so we will see to be honest I still can't believe really how cold it is today I think it's uh, it was minus one when I left out and it is about uh, 10 to 10 at the moment I left out about 15 minutes ago something like that so yeah it is uh, it is pretty nippy I'll tell you what on the way back I think I'm going to be putting my earplugs in I don't know if it's uh, just me or the fact that this exhaust seems to be getting louder so I don't know if it's kind of because it's like a break-in period for a new exhaust or what but it definitely seems a, a fair bit louder than from when I first had it so I love scenery like this just when you're kind of riding through somewhere and all it is is fields and oh I love it especially when there's gorgeous skies as well look at that up there yeah, so I've got my camera with me and I've bought another GoPro. I'll be using the GoPro to take a few photos as well. I was actually going to mount it just down here as well, having a rear facing, but I, could, I just couldn't be bothered to do the editing afterwards. So my feet are a little bit nippy, I know that. You know, as much as I love countryside, I wouldn't like to live in one. It's one of the things around here, if it snows you're kind of screwed, you need a big 4x4 or something. Thankfully this winter hasn't been so bad so far, but I know the further out of Derby I get more into the countryside, all the grass is bloody frozen. Oh, look at all that there, that's all ice. It's not even bloody water. So what, some of these are nice houses, aren't they? I wouldn't want to live around here. I don't even got a clue where I am. Oh, I hope this horse thing's not going the same way as I'm going. Thank God it's not. Actually, this looks familiar. I think I came this way when I uh, went to Mallory Park. I'm sure this is the way to Leicester. I'll tell you what, weather like today. I know it's. I know it is freezing, but you really can't beat it. Why would anyone but want to be in a car? Look at it, it's beautiful isn't it? I mean that's one thing I love about living in Derby. Uh, you've got all of Derbyshire. And it's only 20 minutes away and you've got beautiful scenery like all around here. And 45 minutes away to an hour away you've got Buxton and all around the Peak District. I mean you really can't beat it. I mean look at it, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, here's a bridge. <laughs> oh, it has to be done, it really does, it has to be done. Okay, for some reason this way does, does not seem right at all. It's coming through a brand new estate. Okay, this uh, it must be right. Okay, this really isn't where I want it to be. I don't think so anyway. Uh, get out the good old mobile and have a look. What the hell? Stupid new estates naming their streets after already named streets that are like 10 15 minutes away. So, Satnavs took me uh, 15 minutes away from where I actually needed to be. Balls. I thought it was taking me a little bit long to get there from when I first saw it on Google Maps. It only said half an hour. Then the Satnav said 45 minutes. I'll tell you what, though, I hate to live on a new estate. Constant building all the time, shitty roads. Especially around these bits here, these really, really crappy speed bumps. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, what a bloody pain in the arse that was. Bloody hell, these roads around here really are shitty. Excuse my language. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of a sight. A few cooling towers in action. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, we're coming up to a bridge. all iced up. I tell you what, this road seems kind of familiar as well. I swear we've been around here on the Mod 2 training. So apparently I'll be there in three miles. Here we go, I see water. Da -da -da -da. And that is going to make a beautiful photo. I just need to find somewhere to stop now and I'm going to be turning around and stopping at this bit here. Look at that. That is beautiful. 
That is absolutely beautiful. So I need to find somewhere to turn around. All right, so I'm gonna go down to the other side of the bridge and park, uh, park on that side. That it really is beautiful. Oh shit, gravel and ice even. That is not good. All right, so let's go and have a quick look at that then before I, uh, before I shut this off. All oh, this grass is bloody frozen. Oh, it's chilly around here as well. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? Let's go a little bit further down. Yeah, that really, really is beautiful. Can't believe I've never been here before. All right, anyway, I'm gonna come and get some photos now. Alright, so that's it. Um, don't forget, if you did enjoy the video, to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see any more of the videos, click on channel and clip videos and they're all there. Right, take care all, have a good day and ride safe.